Welcome to Cricut Crafts by Jo. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to convert an image into an SVG file. Hi everybody, so today's video I'm going to show you how to convert an image into an SVG file. This is a website that I discovered a couple of weeks ago just through a search on Google and there's been quite a lot of questions I've noticed on Facebook for people asking how to convert SV to SVG files. Now there's loads of ways of doing this but this website I find does it really quick and easy and is particularly easy for those of you that aren't computer literate or haven't got much confidence in what you're doing. So the site is called online-convert.com I'll put the link in the description below this video so that you can just click straight onto it and I've just got it saved as a bookmark because I've used it quite a bit. So the home page is this and we're going to go to image converter and we want to select convert to SVG because we're changing our file to an SVG come up with this screen and all you need to do is select choose file and I'm just going to select a JPEG that I have got so I'm just going to select the file and then press choose and as you can see it's loaded the JPEG there so you can if you're a bit more confident change the size that you want it to come out at but all I'm going to do is click convert file which is this box here. It will then take the file and convert it into an SVG and automatically download it onto your computer after it is converted. So I'm using a Mac here and my downloads automatically pop up here. If you're using Windows computer then just go to your downloads file and you should find it there. As you can see it's downloaded it here and converted it into an SVG file. So if I click on it then it will automatically open in Inkscape because that's what I've got my default setting to open it to. Um, so yeah, as you can see it's super quick and easy, you can convert any file into an SVG. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a JPEG, but that's just one of the most commonly used um, formats of an image. So I hope you found this useful, see you in the next one guys, thanks! Remember, if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. See ya!